Lamberto, can you just give us a little master class on 2015, 2016, 2017 Luce? Indeed, it's a great pleasure because every vintage uh, I, I, I remember very well. Let's start from 2017. Uh, let's do like the French guys do, from the younger to the older. Okay. So, 2017, we had a frost damage where uh, part of our production was uh, lost, especially on the Sangiovese, because the Sangiovese had early bad break. Uh, then, uh, very hot, dry summer. Um, so, small amount of fruit, uh, but uh, thanks God, Nice, good, uh, long, dry summer. Great potential, uh, great power, so potential power. Uh, tea, uh, the wine has great power. The tannins are very polished, smooth, um, uh, and, uh, and yet embracing. The warmth of the weather goes through the wine, and the Merlot and the Sangiovese, they're really they're expressing that. R lovely to taste now. And, um, and we'll age definitely. But now it's really a pleasure. Mm -hmm. 2016. 2016, a much more even climate, uh, winter, cold, uh, nice uh, transaction uh, from, uh, from winter to spring. Uh, spring break happened uh, in the, uh, the right time. Uh, that means end of uh, March, beginning of April. So bad break, uh, not any kind of problems with frost, uh, summer, uh, with a good amount of rain and hot. Rain and hot, rain and hot, but so no water stress. Uh, water stress, it's important not to have water stress. If not, the Sangiovese under stress uh, um, can have those, the tendons become harsh. Mm -hmm. And the Sangiovese and the Merlot, it may mature too quickly. Uh, so that um, good amount of water postponed the uh, harvest um, later in the season, end of September, beginning of October, uh, having that perfect uh, maturation, not only sugar, but the, the polyphenolic maturation. So a wine with great depth, a wine that probably now is a little bit too young to taste, although it's pleasant to taste, but this wine is a wine that has, uh, that um, is a, it's a big block uh, in, in the engine, so uh, it's that uh, very it's powerful uh, wine with a big V8, a muscle car. It's mm -hmm. a muscle car that needs to, to, to go and, and will come in uh, at the end of the uh, of the 400 yards. Uh, what is the when you <laughs> the tires? Yeah. 2015. 2015. Funny enough, it's a climate quite similar to 2016. Uh, in Montalcino, both vintages have been given top uh, five stars, so they're quite similar. But 2016, uh, 15 is actually a little bit cooler. So the tannins are a little bit more evident. Uh, and a wine that will age even longer uh, if uh, um, uh, 2015, if you had a little bit more crop, the wines are becoming a little bit touch. Uh, so it was important to keep uh, the amount of fruit very um, uh, in balance with that kind of climate. So not having too much fruit in their plants. Mm. Uh, 2015, uh, to, uh, for uh, the vineyards uh, like Luce, the Brunello Luce, that is facing south, is probably one of the greatest uh, vintages there. Maybe not all of Montalcino has been able to express those kind of qualities Maybe 2016 is a little bit more even the great quality. 2015, the uh, exposure, south exposure, has given that good. extra uh, powerful, extra finesse, extra something at the wine. Um, 2015, uh, Luce 2015, you, Brunello, you can enjoy it now. And 
and your nephew can enjoy it. If you are nice <laughs> enough, if you're nice enough to yep. leave it there, I am going to be not nice enough. I'm going to drink it all and I'm write, leave a letter to my nephew saying how, how good was <laughs> the Brunello 15. <laughs> Perfect. 